Recently I made this mirror and it is made up of about a hundred pieces of glass mirror, each of which produces a spot of solar radiation that we see here. All the spots come together to form one strong spot, which we see here where I will now place this piece of paper. We understand that solar radiation creates high temperatures, which ignite the paper. Now I will show you that my small glass mirrors are glued to the surface of cheap expanded polystyrene. Nevertheless, I do not recommend this mirror for making in your garage, for example for a solar cooker, because it will be easier and more reliable for you to glue mirrors on an old satellite dish. But my goal is to reduce the cost of mass production of Kanke mirrors for large solar stations consisting of millions of mirrors, which will produce huge amounts of cheap thermal energy and electricity for solar energy to triumph over fossil fuels. The cheap polystyrene replaces this concave surface, which is made from a metal sheet that costs more than $10 per square meter. The expanded polystyrene can reduce the cost of concave mirrors to $15 per square meter, which brings us to this cost of solar thermal energy, about half a cent per kilowatt hour. It is approximately 5 times cheaper than the cost of heat from coal, and almost 10 times cheaper than heat from natural gas. This cheap heat has a temperature of about 300 degrees Celsius, which is generated inside a similar receiver, into which the sun rays are focused by our concave mirror. The receiver should move like this from morning to evening, but the mirrors are motionless, and therefore they are radically cheaper than these traditional mirrors, which move together with the receiver according to the movement of the sun across the sky. My previous videos have described many times how motionless mirrors should produce thermal energy. Also, my previous videos have often described how the chip heat with a temperature of about 300 degrees can be converted into such cheap solar electricity, 5 cents per kilowatt hour, which is cheaper than electricity from thermal and nuclear power plants. I suggested following the example of such solar power plants, which focus solar radiation into these receivers with thermal oil at a temperature of up to 400 degrees. The thermal oil circulates between the receivers and the turbine with an electric generator. But more than half of the energy of the oil is converted into heating of the substance in these tanks, so that this energy goes to the same turbine to produce electricity at night. So, a large solar power plant must have millions of similar mirrors with dimensions of several meters. How I made this concave polystyrene surface was shown in this my old video, and the concave shape radically increases its rigidity compared to a flat polystyrene sheet. Expanded polystyrene is a durable material, but only its northern side where the sun rays do not reach, as I was convinced of when my solar station was aging. But the sun will eat away these side surfaces at a rate of several millimeters per year, and maybe it makes sense to cover them with reflective foil. Obviously, these areas should also be covered with mirrors to protect them from the sun.